Hello everyone, welcome back to Howling Hoosier Outdoors. Today we're going to be going over how to make a classic paracord survival bracelet without a clasp. So, for this project you're going to need a lighter, a Swiss Army knife or a pair of scissors, about six feet of paracord, and then these are going to be your core strands of paracord. And for this you need to make sure that it is long enough to go around your wrist, and then you're going to add about three inches. So, it's going to go around, there's about three inches of tag on the end, and now we're good. So, to start this off, you're gonna find and create a bite in the middle of your core strands, and then you're gonna find and create a bite in the middle of your six feet of paracord. So right about there. You're going to take that bite, feed it around your core strands. You're going to bring, in order to start the cobra stitch, you're going to go over, take your right, you're going to feed that over, and then you're going to take your left, and that's going to go over your right, behind the back, and through that loop that you created on the right side. Then you're going to pull tight and dress that down. Now for the second stitch, you're going to do the exact same thing, just on the left side. You're going to feed your left side over, Bring your right side over to the left, feed that back around, and then feed that through the loop. And you're just going to continue alternating that in order to continue the stitch down. However, because we're doing this design without a buckle, in order to create the closure, we're going to take your two working ends and feed that through the top of your loop. And then we're just going to put in a simple overhand knot as a placeholder for now. And that's just going to hold that there for us for now. Now you can slide this up and adjust it however you need to to make sure that that will fit snugly, but you also don't want it too tight, otherwise you won't be able to get it back through. So once that loop is there and that closure is there, now you can check it on your wrist to make sure that that loop is going to hold. And that fits nice and loose because it's going to bulk up the more that we add the stitch in. So now if we continue on going over and under and behind and we're going to continue doing that the entire length of this bracelet. So just one more time over, over, behind, and through. And this is known as the Cobra stitch. alternate again. All right, now this is most of the way done through the uh, core strands. This has actually been made just slightly too big. So now in order to adjust that knot and that closure, simply undo the overhand knot, slide it down, figure out where exactly you want this to clasp at. For me, it'll be right about there. So then just do another simple overhand knot to adjust it. That's the ugliest overhand knot I have ever done. There we go, dressed it up a little bit. I'm gonna leave just a little bit of gap there, so that way when if I get like water exposure or something like that, it will not be an issue. Or if there's any moss swelling. And then just feed that over. And that sits just fine. So now we're gonna clean this up. We're gonna trim off these ends. Singe them with our lighter. And I like to just kind of melt them so that way they're nice and smooth. I've seen people press them down with their lighter and that just creates sharp edges that just irritate my skin. So I just like to let, 
melts them nice and smooth. And then we're gonna do the same thing on our big hair, uh, big hair knot over here. Apparently, my Swiss Army scissors need to get sharpened. And singe those down a bit. Make sure they're nice and melted. All right, so there you have it, folks. A simple, easy paracord bracelet without a clasp. Now I'll sit right in there. There you go, folks. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay awesome.